The Toronto Blue Jays held a press conference for Ross Atkins today, and man, from what he says, this is an absolute joke. First off, Ross is coming back as you know, running the show here, and this is an absolute joke. I, I can't believe that we're, we're still doing this. This team is not serious enough about winning, and if you tell me I'm wrong, oh well, how? Because he's been here since 2016. He has a single playoff win, and that one playoff win came when that wasn't even his team. He didn't. He, that wasn't his team. It was his first year of taking over. He took over in November of 2015. That's when him and Mark Shapiro were hired. They made that playoff win, obviously, you know, in that like October or whatever it was of 2016. So that wasn't even his team fully. He made a couple moves, sure, but for the most part, that was not his team. That should tell you something about you know Ross Atkins and even Mark Shapiro, I guess you could say, but mostly on Ross because the fact that he really doesn't even have a playoff win since taking over this team and having you know this Blue Jays team as his own that he's kind of created. So that is an absolute joke. Ross should not have a job. That, first off, is what kind of is pissing off Jays fans, I'm sure, as well. But the next thing here is Ross Atkins says John Schneider will return as Blue Jays manager in 2024. Again, we're not serious enough at winning Ross. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't know why he has a job. So there's two bad things there. He's bringing back John, and he's obviously staying. I, I, I mean... I guess you could kind of figure out that that would have probably happened if Ross still had a job that he'd probably bring back John. But I, I don't know why Ross has a job in the first place. And if Ross doesn't, that means John doesn't. So there's two bad things right there, first off. And then the next thing, though, here, Ross Atkins on mapping out pitching strategy that led to Barrios being pulled. Those meetings are, well, quote, those meetings are John Schneider's meetings. So Apparently, that was pretty much all on John. Atkins says it is not the front office that makes those calls. Quote, John Schneider made that decision. So we're hearing that John Schneider made that decision. He was the one who pulled Brios early when he didn't have to, and Brios was cooking. And this is what happens. I don't know what to say here. I don't know what to say. Why does Ross have a job? Why does John have a job? This team is not serious enough at winning. They jack up the ticket prices, get all these renovations in, just to not care about winning now. So worse to spend even more money this year, I'm sure, because why wouldn't they jack him up? Of course they would. And then we're just not going to see any good winning baseball here. So we need big changes, and we're not getting them unless we're seeing like 10 freaking trades this offseason because there's not even any really that great of free agents this offseason as well, especially on the hitting side of things. So we're not going to fix things there. So we better see like 10 freaking trades. Or, no, I'm exaggerating a bit, but you know what I'm saying. We need to see a lot of trades here. Otherwise, this team is going to pretty much be running it back and – we saw that what happened with the Leafs for a long, long time, just running it back over and over and over again. Same thing with the Raptors, just running it back over and over and over again with the exact same core. It doesn't always work. So this is not a good sign for the Blue Jays in 2024 and beyond. The next thing here we have, um, Ross Atkins says he was surprised to see John Schneider pull Jose Brios. So that's kind of funny there. And then you have another quote here. Ross Atkins uh, says, quote, the strategy was one that in the end was effective because Blue Jays only allowed two runs in game two. Hey, okay, you can say that, but let's remember here, we had this guy on first base, Yusei came in, and he gave up both those runs. So obviously, yes, Barrios gets charged for an run because he allowed the guy on first base with zero outs in that inning. But my issue is with that is it wasn't really effective because we ended up losing the game. I know that's not definitely like the exact kind of correlation there, I guess you could say. But personally, this was still an atrocious game. It was still a bad call because Barrios was cooking. You got to at least get let Barrios get out of that inning and then you know let Yusei come in, in like the fifth probably with a clean inning, hopefully. And obviously that didn't happen. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just think this is still kind of a, a bad move. So pretty unfortunate there. Uh, but either way, this team is just... It's really frustrating. And the last thing we have to take a look at here is Ross Atkins says, quote, we didn't score enough and we did not reach our goals. We share the frustration with our fans. Ross, no, you don't because you don't care enough about winning. You would resign if you really cared about winning for this team. And obviously, you would never do that because he obviously wants his paycheck and I'm sure he's making a lot of money. But the point is, he doesn't understand the team, like the fans are frustrations here because we're not seeing any, any improvement here. We're seeing the exact same results three years in a row now, just getting swept in the freaking wild card. And this is an absolute joke. We can't keep seeing this over and over again. And he obviously kept John, which most fans, myself included, did not agree with. 
he shouldn't be here. He should, he should not have a job. Ross should be fired 100%. And overall, I just, I'm not getting what this team direction is. I mean, what are we doing here if we're not, like, I obviously, yeah, you've got to be frustrated too. You're not winning, but you've never won. So you didn't even really know what, what to do here because Ross has never been like a great manager by any means. And he's come here with a single playoff win since 2016. That wasn't even his own team really, except for a couple little moves. So I don't know what Ross is doing here still. This makes no sense. This team is not serious enough at winning because if they were, Ross and John would not have jobs. We've seen the Boston Red Sox. They fired guys, you know, just because they're not winning enough. A lot of other franchises have done so as well. We have not done so because we don't clearly care enough at winning. Fans do. Fans want to see this team win. But the front office and higher-ups and stuff, I guess they don't care enough at winning. They just want to, you know, get together tickets sold, and they're happy with that, I guess. So, overall... I'm very frustrated with what we've, we've heard here. Ross and John should not have a job. Definitely comment down below your guys' thoughts on all this stuff because I think it's an absolute joke, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and subscribe for daily Toronto Blue Jays content every single day. I'll try and have a video out every single day to have the offseason as well, even though it'll get a little rough with uh, you know very limited news as well. But we should have a lot of trades here because otherwise... This team is uh, going to be running it back pretty much the exact same in 2024. Thanks for watching and see ya.